Good morning, you beautiful people. It's Rochelle from Monolane Furniture in chilly, overcast winter, I guess, Sydney. Today I'm working on this beautiful piece. Let's have a look. Right, so this is another piece that I got free. Yes, free. Uh, from Facebook Marketplace. I love it. It's so unusual. Well, it's unusual for us in Australia. We don't usually get very many different pieces or very similar or pretty boring to be honest. But look, I thought these were just shelves but they're actually drawers. I love them. The top is a mess. It's veneer. I'll send it, sand it back, see how we go. If I can't sand it back, then we'll have to paint it, obviously. Um, I've got two missing um, draw pulls, this one and this one. But that means I've got four good ones. And I really, really like this. I like how big they are. Look, put your whole hand in there. I love that. And I've got big hands. So what I will do is move this one down there. And then I'll put something different on these ones. Um, single, possibly just um, little pulls not so little or maybe caps but i'm not sure um in terms of color i haven't even looked in the shed so um let's just roll with it that's just what we always do should we guys right i've taken all the draw pulls out and as i'm going to be replacing the top two i'm just going to fill in these holes so i'm going to use dixie bell mud in the brown still don't know what color i'm painting it but just go with brown anyway and i'm using the spatula dixie bell spatula right so i'm just going to sand the top i'm pretty sure i'm going to have to paint it it looks like it's really poor quality um either way i need to sand it anyway so let's just have a look what we've got Okay, here we have the chipboard. I'm still gonna carry on and see how much of this I can sand off because that little bit there I can work with. I can make that work. Right, unfortunately the top's not good enough quality and when I've sanded around the edges, it's just chipboard, it's no good. So what I'm gonna do now, I have to paint it, but because there's there's some areas of veneer, then there's some areas that have gone through to chipboard. If I paint it straight over this, there's gonna be an inconsistent finish. So what I'm gonna do is just give it a coat of the satin clear coat all over. And then that'll just mean that when I do paint this, it'll have the same finish as the rest of the body. So I'm gonna use my Dixie Belle Scarlet. I love, love, love this brush. And I'm just gonna get it on there. So that's all dried now doesn't look any different you wouldn't know i'd done it what i'm going to do now is just go over it with um, a high grit sand if you've got a sand block or sandpaper and just smooth it off just that is enough to make a huge difference because remember we want to work hard to make sure this is really brush stroke free on the top I'm having second thoughts about this top. I'm thinking what I might do is, well, I'm gonna do it and we'll see how we go. Why not put the no pain gel stain on it in walnut? So this is the oil-based one. It's a lot thicker than the Voodoo. It's really lovely, but this is designed to sit on top of an existing finish. So the more you, you put on, the more, the, the darker it will get and it will cover the grain which in turn means it will cover any infections. 
And the reason I'm going to do this before I do the painting, because this is going to determine, if this works out the way I want it to, this will be to determine what I do with the rest of it. So I'm using the applicator pad. I'm going to put this onto it. So I just use a stick, put it on. And let's just wipe it on and see how we go. And like I say, this is sitting on top. That's why it's good. It's going to work well because it's got the satin top coat on. This is lovely. Yeah. And I'm going to be doing quite a few coats on it because I've got those imperfections that I need to cover. And I haven't done much wood around the, the sides either. So it's going to be quite dark. It'll probably be quite close to the original colour, actually. Just got another scoop. I really like, don't like painting over raw wood because I really love raw wood. But when it's not good quality, you just have to find a way around it. So when you're putting on the no paint gel stain, you have to be mindful that how you lay it on is how it will sit. It's not going to then start soaking in and look different. You're sort of creating the way it'll look. There, so now I'm just going from one end to the next. I'm really happy with this already. So long strokes. And you can actually mix this with Big Mama's Butter because that's an oil base too. And what that will do is sort of thin it out a little bit. Plus, it'll smell gorgeous. Right, I've been going back and forth and back and forth with colours. In the end, I can't get past Anchor. Anchor, which is the Dixbell Silk Black, is just phenomenal with no paint gel stain and walnut. It's just a match made in heaven. I've got just under half a pot left, plenty. If it's not plenty, I'll just paint the drawers a different colour, we'll be right. Right, let's get stuck in. You can see I've used mud down here. There's a little bit, some little indentations where people have probably kicked it and things like that. Got some wet mud on the side there, just wipe that off, pretend that's not there. All right, let's go. And I'm using my mini. Oh, this is just a dream to paint with. Inside these drawers is um, velvet, probably not what you call it, velour, whatever it is. Anyway, it's in, it's, it's, it doesn't look pretty. I've brushed it out, so what I'm going to do, rather than trying to remove that, I'm just going to paint it. Um, and you can paint fabric, it's no drama whatsoever. So, I'm going to use caviar in the chalk mineral. I could have used the silk, but I don't have much of it. And sometimes when you paint fabric, even though there's not a lot of it, it'll take more paint than usual. So um, I'm just gonna use the chalk in the black. So I'm gonna get a heap of water in here. I'll, I'll paint around the sides as well, but for now I'm just focusing on getting it on the um, velvet. So I'm going to put heaps of water in. That'll just allow it to soak in. 
and I'm just going to use my premium chip brush and get it in there I'll probably do a couple of coats and then seal it with the spray wax. Right, so now I'm going to give these a bit of a dress up. This is how easy it is. Oh, I love this stuff. Why use a brush when you've got fingers, eh? Look at that. Right, this is the top ones. Actually, look, see, that's the drawer pulls I'm thinking of using on the top drawers, the cut pulls. So that's perfect. I don't need to touch those. Brilliant. Here she is, <coughs> all done and ready for photos. I've just done a touch up there, which is why the little damp spot really 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 happy with this <clears throat> i ended up going with the um just the round <clears throat> draw pulls to match the top ones otherwise it looked a little bit um out of place so if you're looking for any of the products that i've used check out the description guys it'll all be there thank you for sticking with me and i'll see you on the next flip